Hello and welcome to Being Extraordinary. My name is Sarah Kent and I help women to connect to and create their dreams. Now even the most successful of us experience stress and anxiety and if you're going to be stepping out of your comfort zone in any way you are likely to experience some degree of stress. So how do we bring a bit of balance back into our lives, even when we're choosing to stretch ourselves or find ourselves in tricky situations? In this video, I'm going to share two simple ways to help you to become calmer and more present, even when your system is triggered and you're feeling stressed. If you're a woman and you do find this video helpful, you'll find a lot of value and support in my Facebook group, Being Extraordinary. And you'll see the link to that group in the description below this video. I'd love to see you there. Now, a long time ago, <clears throat> many, many years ago, I found myself serving in the armed forces and some of those situations were really stressful to the degree that I wasn't actually sleeping. And of course, that only added to my stress, it compounded it and it became a vicious cycle, uh, which I only found my way out of when I created what I call my own sanctuary practice. <clears throat> and that's something which I describe in quite a lot of detail in my free ebook. But one of the simplest and most powerful things that we can do to help us feel calmer when we're triggered or feeling stressed is to use our breathing to soothe or regulate our overstimulated nervous systems. So the breathing method which I'm going to share to you today I call fourfold breathing. I think it's also known as box breathing. So the way I use it, um, and I do use it in the moment, so if I find myself in a situation where I'm feeling really uncomfortable or triggered in some way, I notice that, take a breath as I'm doing now, and I bring my attention to my breath. If I can, I can put my, my hand on my chest as well, and then I breathe in slowly and gently to a count of four. I then pause at the top of that breath for a count of four, counting inside my head. Then I breathe out slowly to another count of four. And at the bottom of that breath, I pause again for a count of four and then I repeat the whole process for at least four breaths or sometimes it's for a couple of minutes and just the gentle steady rhythm of that breath regulates the nervous system. It sends messages to our body that we're safe and so it's going to reduce the flow of adrenaline. That in itself allows us to become more present. It certainly helps me to feel calmer in the moment and more resourced. So that's fourfold breathing. Very, very simple. Just notice if you've been triggered or even if you're about to go and do something which you know you're going to feel stressful and you'll probably feel that excitement or nerves building inside you, you can calm that and be more present and resourced by doing a few of those fourfold breaths before you go and do that, that challenging thing. So breathe in for a count of four, pause for a count of four, breathe out for a count of four, pause for a count of four. Okay, that's the first method. The second thing that I used to do to process and ease anxious, anxious, excuse me, anxious thoughts or to stop worrying about things um, is simply to practice journaling. 
I was surprised actually at how helpful this was. And it's something that I use to help me navigate a combination of burnout and grief after my father died during uh, the COVID lockdowns. So journaling is really simple. It involves just writing down your thoughts and feelings as you're navigating everyday life. It can help you to understand and work through emotions, especially if you're feeling anxious or sad. It can also help you to grow and become more self-aware and you can get some really interesting and meaningful insights. The beauty of journaling is that there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's a really deeply personal experience and it's for you to find out what works best for you. There is something quite magical that can happen when we physically write down our thoughts on paper. Uh, But you may find that you actually prefer to type your journal. Uh, You could write your journal at the start of every day. It could be a simple stream of consciousness, just letting your thoughts flow out onto paper or the screen if you're typing it. Or you could explore a topic that's important to you on this particular day. And if writing's not for you, you could actually draw or doodle instead. You could use images to represent your thoughts and feelings on a particular day. And every entry then would use drawings to tell your story. Journaling is a practice, so make time for it in your day. Try it for a couple of weeks and see what difference it makes. Both of those tools, so journaling and the fourfold breathing, can help you to feel calmer and more resourced as you encounter and move through challenging situations. But ultimately, we also need to consider what we are choosing to allow in our life. And that's something that I'm going to be talking about in the next video. I hope you found this helpful today. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you're a woman who has a dream and wants to make a difference in and with your life, you will find a lot of support within my Facebook group, Being Extraordinary. The link to join is in the description below. Um, I'll welcome you personally and in the group I share some of the experience and tips and knowledge that I've gained over the years and as being a wild soul coach. And if you do join right now, there is a bonus, a free mini audio class for you to download once you're inside the group. I'd love to see you there. I'm Sarah Kent and until next time, be extraordinary.